Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with Fezzik, the rhyming giant from McFarland Toys' Princess Bride line. This is in the Mega Fig scale, so he is coming in a bit larger than everyone else. He's coming in at a larger price point, too, 40 bucks, which is kind of a, a steep ask. Looking at him in the box here, this is a really nice packaging. I think the fairy tale esque backdrop in there, which continues on to the side, and then the back has photos from the movie. Worth noting, there's actually still plenty of room on this box, so if they wanted to maybe start including, like, artist credits, you know, for the sculptors and the painters and, and the designers who make these boxes and everything else, uh, I think that would be a great move. If you're trying to use Brick seat, Seek to find this guy, there's that for you. Let's get this big guy out of here. Okay, this guy seems pretty fun already. I can tell you, you know, a lot of a lot of these mega fig and larger figures from McFarlane, they, they end up being Brick heavy. This guy isn't quite quite that and it he feels like already that he's got like a lower center of gravity and he's not top heavy like um violator for example who who ended up being difficult to stand so the face sculpt is actually really good i think andre the giant's got a tricky kind of face you know he's just got a big big lumpy head um and then you know the other part of it is how his where his neck his jaw meets his neck you know it's it's a tricky portrait to capture and i think this looks pretty good the one thing that I feel like is a bit of a miss for me is the is the hairline of the, the the he's got a this curly sort of fro with the tight little curls, um, but but then the edge of the hairline and where it hits the face is it just looks a little too uniform. It doesn't look messy enough, and then the 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 sideburns are kind of a, just they're just. A little shapeless they're not not messy enough like you can see they've got a little bit of detail on there but it's just the edge the 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 edge it's just too too smooth of, of a line and they put a ton of texture here on his shirt um, I mean arguably more texture than is there in the actual like source material in the movie but it looks fantastic on here and it's it's just nice when you've got a, a big character like this, but he's got a fairly simple um, silhouette and, and not a lot of prominent details, you know, in here in this torso and the, and the arms, and adding that texture really makes it look look nice. Just classes it up a bit. The texture in the the pants is really fantastic, and the paint, the stripes on there look really good as well. It's a fun sculpt. The boots are fun as well. Wouldn't have minded. They've got it's got a wash on these these boots. Might might be a little heavy, and I wouldn't have minded like a different color for the the soles of the shoes, just something to break that up because it looks a little a little plain. D despite having having the paint apps on it, just looks like something's missing. Let's see what kind of movement we get out of him. Yeah, and the, I think the the likeness starts to take on a little bit more uh, accuracy when you get his sort of head pushed down where his jaw is coming down a little bit lower and he doesn't have as, as tall of a neck. That's when it starts to really work a little bit better in my opinion. Shoulders are, are really freed up and move very easily and have, have a good range here. There's no bicep cut as to not break up this sculpt, which, which I, I think works out well because he's got these big single elbows that also rotate there as well. So I think you end up getting the range that you would you would want out of these arms without having a bicep cut. And the single elbow, while not always ideal for articulation, I think helps maintain uh, this nice clean sculpt. So I, I, I prefer on, on some of these figures when they choose to keep it a single elbow and try to keep as few cuts uh, in there as possible. The wrist rotate and are hinged like so no ab crunch at all but he does have a waist it's it's underneath here which is really nice and then I really like the way these single knees are engineered the seam the edge of the pant where the boot is is where the the knee hides it looks fantastic when 
when when bent to the knee still has a great look there and while it doesn't look great looking right up in there it's you know it's not going to really be visible when you've got the figure posed it's that's that's really fun and then the other the other great thing is that it rotates there as well so so while he's not articulated like spider-man i i just appreciate that the articulation points that it does have feel tailored specifically to this figure and engineered in a way that is that is satisfying to play with satisfying to look at i think it's fantastic the ankles move very well and have a toe in there as well i don't know pretty fun pretty fun i wasn't sure about this guy but i don't know he's he's fun to play with i'll tell you that and then at the hips here he's not going to do the full splits he's not going to do big front kicks uh but he's got some movement in there and maybe a tiny a little bit of rotation if you if you apply some pressure he comes with this rock that is really cool. It's got a lot of great detail and, and some good looking paint on there. Very nice. It's shaped such that you could kind of just squeeze it into his hand there like that. And then if he's got it cocked back like that, it's like he's going to throw it at your head. And then in a truly baffling decision, he comes with a peanut. Uh, because cause he famously ro says a rhyme about peanuts. Um, there is no ever, there's never a peanut in the movie. I mean, he could hold it in his hand. Anybody want a peanut? I, you know, I don't know. I think it's kind of cheesy and dumb. I don't know. Maybe somebody will get a kick out of it and display it that way. I, I was kind of trying to, th I was hoping maybe he would, could be able to hold it like sort of pinched between his finger and thumb, but I just don't think it fits like that way. I think he just has to hold it like that. It's kind of, that's eh, a little whack, I think. I don't know. It just feels like something nobody asked for. I don't know. And then on the topic of things nobody asked for, this Princess Bride line in general, it's a great license. The figures are really great, but I just don't know if it's going to find an audience, uh, especially at the price point. 25 bucks each, like I said, and 40 bucks for him. And they're not quite NECA. They don't come with a lot of accessories. Uh, you know, the, the blades of these swords, they don't look like they have a real edge to them. Uh, and then the, the grouping all together... Um, these are, these are, I really like these, but I'm not sure, I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't feel like necessarily carving out space just for these guys, especially because it feels a little incomplete without Vizzini. Uh, I know they got to save some characters for wave two, but I'm, I'm just worried that there's not going to be a wave two, you know, cause I, cause if I'm going to have all these characters, I, I, you got to have Vizzini too. He's, he really rounds out these three together. I don't know. I'm I'm just worried that they're going to end up being peg warmers, which is too bad cuz cuz they're really cool. Uh you know, we'll just we'll see what happens with the holiday season, but but when those clearance prices hit, these things are great. Like this Buttercup is going to be great fodder. Like she's got these nice uh sculpted pant legs underneath here uh with a really functional like waist and you, you know, nice details including like sculpting in the in the ball joint there, the ankle. I could see these being like Harley Quinn or, you know, Black Widow type legs even on, on another for a custom. And for a better idea of how he scales up next to all these characters, big dude, looks looks great. It's a, it's, a, it's a sharp looking collection here. I just, I don't know if anybody really wants them. But I really only have two questions left, which is, the first of which is, can Dread Pirate Roberts hang on his back? The answer is yes. To that and can he carry princess buttercup and the answer is yes to that so he does everything you need him to do it's a great figure these are all really great they're fun they're, you got this fun medieval pirate vibes this guy's halfway to being a great custom zorro i don't really have anything terribly bad to say about him uh it's just i just don't know if, if the appeal's there but that's not really my problem to worry about if you guys are interested in picking these up uh, they're pretty fun. Go for them. The, the price point's not great, but they're, they're great figures. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.